Hello, welcome to the Memento M. Cristo channel. Today we are going to share the Gospel of the day, the Word of Jesus Christ. Let's start with the prayer of the Holy Family. Jesus Mary and Joseph. In you we contemplate. The splendor of true love. Confident, to you we consecrate ourselves. Holy Family of Nazareth. Also make our families. Places of communion and cenacles of prayer. Authentic schools of the gospel. And small house churches. Holy Family of Nazareth. May there never again be in the families. Episodes of violence, closure, and division. And anyone who has been hurt or scandalized. Be speedily comforted and healed. Holy Family of Nazareth. Make us all aware of the sacred and inviolable character of the family, of its beauty in God's plan. Jesus Mary and Joseph, hear us and accept our supplication. Amen. The Gospel of the Day, the Word of Jesus Christ. Reading of the Letter to the Hebrews. Hebrews 6, 10, 20. Brethren, God is not unjust, to forget what you are doing and the charity you have shown in his name, serving and continuing to serve the saints. But we want each one of you to show this same commitment to the end for the full realization of hope, so that you are not slow to understand, but imitators of those who, through faith and perseverance, become heirs of the promises. For when God made a promise to Abraham, there being none greater by whom to swear, he swore by himself, saying, I will bless you and multiply you. And so, Abraham was persevering and achieved the promise. Men swear, in fact, by someone more important, and the guarantee of the oath puts an end to any dispute. Therefore, wanting God to show more firmly to the heirs of the promise the irrevocable character of his decision, he intervened with an oath. Thus, through two irrevocable acts, in which there can be no lie on God's part, we find profound consolation, we who left everything to obtain the proposed hope. Hope, in fact, is for us like an anchor of life, safe and firm, penetrating beyond the curtain of the sanctuary, where Jesus entered for us, as a forerunner, made an eternal high priest in the order of Melchizedek. Gospel of the Day Proclamation of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Mark 2, 23, 28. Jesus was passing through wheat fields on the Sabbath. Disciples of him began to pluck ears of corn as they went along. Then the Pharisees said to Jesus, Look! Why do they do what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Jesus said to them, have you never read what David and his companions did when they were in need and hungry? How did he enter the house of God, in the time when Abiathar was high priest, did he eat the bread offered to God, and also give it to his companions? However, only priests are allowed to eat these breads. And he added, the Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is also Lord of the Sabbath. Words of the Holy Father Even today some people make our ears burn by saying, No, holiness is in these precepts, in these things, you have to do this and that, and they propose a rigid religiosity, the rigidity that takes away that freedom in the spirit that Christ's redemption gives us. Be attentive to the rigidity that they propose to you, be attentive. For behind every rigidity, there is something negative, the Spirit of God does not exist. God is always close to us with his goodness. It's like that father who went up to the terrace every day to see if his son would come back, the father's love never tires of us. Let us ask for the wisdom to always be aware of this reality and to distance ourselves from the fundamentalists who propose a life of artificial asceticism far removed from the resurrection of Christ. Asceticism is necessary, but wise, not artificial, asceticism. Prayer of the Day São Miguel Archangel, defend us in combat. Be our refuge against the evil and snares of the devil. May God manifest his power over him. Here is our humble supplication. 
and you, Prince of the Celestial Militia, with the power that God has given you. Cast Satan and the other evil spirits into hell, who go around the world tempting souls. Amen. We hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave your like and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.